Hello, this is Juliet Yelverton here at um, Healing Waters Sanctuary and I'm in the Kuan Yin room here. Uh, welcome to come and watch in my come to watch my video. Excuse my grammar. I'm a little bit scrambled this morning. <laughs> uh, but I'm here with Van Dieter who has been um, doing my trauma skills training, the year one training, and uh, come and sit down Van Dieter. Hello. <laughs> hi, hi. I hope you can see us both. So, um, Vandita was really kind to come along this morning and share a little bit about her experiences of the Year One Trauma Skills Training. So, I, I run a Year One Introductory Training and an Advanced Training in Trauma Skills um, with the, um, the aim of bringing trauma-informed consultancy to the different sectors, social sectors, um, in our society. Now that's tautological. So <laughs> in the different social sectors on the planet. Okay, that makes more sense. Yes. Yes, and last year we had uh, some people from prison services work training with us and Bandita has been also working in the mental health mm -hmm. sector and also works with in and, and, legal and the legal sector as well. Yeah, legal. my background my background's in, in law. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, can you tell me a little bit about your background in law? So, yeah, so my background is in law and I've specialised in human rights. Um, so, yeah, I've always really worked with vulnerable people. So I've worked with displaced people. Um, I've worked with refugees in an immigration detention centre. I've worked for three and a half years as a paralegal officer for the NSPCC. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so that's really that's really important work. Yes. So um, yeah, Vandita's got a lot of experience working with really vulnerable vulnerable people. But she got to the stage in her life where she felt that she really needed to address the the core issues of trauma within herself because that's really important for healing healing yourself and mm -hmm. helping other people heal. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So. What have you, you now? We've done four modules of the the trauma skills training. You've got to this point. So, having had that idea, like this is important work. What what have you discovered? What what was significant, for instance, for you up to this point? What's changed within you from doing this work? Um, for myself, I think over the years, I've realised the importance of addressing like the core issues underlying, yeah, whatever whatever's going on and however it manifests. Um, so there was the people obviously that I was working with that were traumatised themselves but then what was happening was it was activating my own trauma within myself even though I didn't realise it at the time I, I realise that now um, so I did this sort of work until I was 30 and at the end of a, a big case um, that I took against BP on behalf of uh, a whole group of displaced people I just couldn't hold it anymore I, I, I guess I collapsed at the end of the case and realised I had to focus my attention on my own healing because I was looking outside of myself to change the world and it was in that moment I finally got it that if we want to change the world we need to start here with, with ourselves and our own healing so that was the, the big sort of like change and shift in my life uh, so I've been working on this now for coming up to 15 years and uh, in various modalities but yeah still not really able to go back and do what I feel called to do because there was something in myself that still, yeah, I still haven't fully healed. So when I met you, Juliet, uh, last year, and I was aware of your course, and we, we bumped into each other, do you remember? Mm. And I completely resonate with your vision, you know, in terms of if we want to make the planet a better place, we need to heal our trauma. And then from that place, I hope to then be able to, uh, yeah, help other people with their trauma. Because mm. I, can, I can be a support worker, I can be a lawyer, and I can represent someone in, in a legal case, but that's really only touching the, the surface. You know, nothing's going to fundamentally change either in myself or anyone I work with, really. Um, so now that we're into this course, I just feel I'm going to be giving sort of very grounded tools to, to work with trauma. So not in this like gen, general idea or working on an energetic level, which I've been doing up till now, but really understanding. The fundamentals on a very sort of tangible physiological level yes that's right and just understanding the nervous system i mean this is you know it's been there the whole time within myself 
and this is what's been going on within yeah. me and it's only now during the course that yeah. I realise that I've had an activated nervous system my whole life. That's right, yeah. so can I just pick up on, because we've just covered a, a whole host of ideas and um, first of all it, it's important to realise that almost all of us are traumatised and that doesn't mean to say that big bad things have happened to all of us but that there are many many things that happen on a daily basis that traumatise us and the second thing is that trauma is not about whether a bad thing has happened to you or not, it's about what's actually happening to you now in your nervous system and that you have lost the capacity and the resilience within your nervous system to be able to stay within a um, um, happy, uh, grounded, stabilised state where, where your ra rational part of your brain is online and that when we're traumatised it's so easy to flip out and become highly um, activated, very angry, very depressed, dissociated, or running away, shutting down, unable to deal with the problems around us. So if you're working with other people in, in any kind of capacity at all, if you're activated and you get into that state, that you're no longer able to help those people. And that's, th that's the first clear point. And Vandita also said how she was finding herself activated by the people she was working with. But when you heal your own nervous system through the, the physiological steps that we teach, then just by, by the fact of having healed your own nervous system, that creates a very solid, grounded space by which you can help other people that you're working with then begin to heal themselves. Because people are affected, we're all affected all the time by our nervous systems. Um, my nervous system is affecting your nervous system and yours is affecting mine because this this information is being um, transmitted through our our, our non-verbal um, movements connections information that we're sharing through the eyes and we can really very rapidly cause somebody to become very activated if we're not aware of it but likewise we can very rapidly help somebody to be calm and stabilized and grounded if our own nervous system is in that condition so managing our nervous systems is really significantly helpful in helping other people so this is what you've been discovering up to this point on the because we do a lot of group work as part of the training as well so mm -hmm. what so to continue with what you were sharing, Vandita, what, like on this module, um, working with your boundaries and with the ability to express, what was significant for you? So, yeah, this mod module in particular um, was really significant. Um, I've had a lot of shifts throughout the, the modules, but this was the weekend that where I really felt something very significant. And I think it... Yeah, it first arose in the exercise we did on the Saturday where we were looking at um, how we feel in our safe space and looking at uh, our boundaries and realising that I didn't even feel safe in my safe space. So that was quite quite a revelation to me. Um, and then I think from that it sort of followed through the weekend. So later in the, in the exercise I did with you, mm. we did the demo in the group, uh, which that in itself was a big thing for me to step forward and do that. But I realised... This is a really safe space, the group we have. I feel very safe. Um, we're all working together, supporting each other. So I feel if I want to really step up and, and do the healing I'm, I'm being called to do, then this is really the moment to do it. So in the exercise I did with you, Juliet, um, when I was imagining sort of speaking to set my boundaries and I tuned into my body, I realized that I didn't, like energetically, there was nothing here to even imagine speaking, let alone speak. Yeah. Um, and it was when I looked into the group, which was hard, but then I engaged with the group and I just felt their support and I felt safe with them. Uh, and it was in that moment then I could like really come back into my body because I could only feel myself up to my hips, so just my legs downwards and there was nothing upwards. And then I really started just coming back into the body. And then from, from that, I. I felt able to, to speak up. Yeah, so I know that many, many of us are in a state of parasympathetic shock or tonic immobility, that it, that's what it's called, which is a feeling of op overwhelm and helplessness where we actually lose our connection with our body. And to heal trauma, we need to come back into our body. 
and this is build in a body awareness is the first step of healing trauma and this is van diet has been working for years with people in in the mental health system and and the um the legal um system and finding that she couldn't fully hold the situation and, and what she's discovering is that she's not even been in her body so to be able to build back that body awareness is really important to be fully embodied to be able to take that work out and to help others but mm -hmm. that was the pivotal experience yeah that, yeah that was really key yeah and also to um yeah to be resource enough in myself to then help others so, so doing the work that Juliet's describing and um, just the awareness of the, from the first uh, module as well, the window of tolerance. Yes. There's something that, that feels so obvious to me now, but just pointing out that we need to be resourced in ourselves to meet our needs and um, to look after ourselves and our nervous system to then be able to hold others. And that's something I realised then on the Sunday when we were looking at developmental trauma, that I realised from a young age I'd learned not to look after myself yes um so again it was just i just feel that that moment on the saturday and then the sunday it was a sort of a light bulb moment really yeah i feel that was just a key key thing almost like the, the center of the onion i've been doing layers and around here but this this module in particular i feel i've really gone into something in a very tangible grounded way yes that i, I feels like a key that, that i've just found yes yeah that that's really important and it's important this this concept of the window of tolerance is how to manage your how to self-regulate your nervous system and how to manage it so you're always within this window of tolerance is really important because when you, you simply get into very very high intense emotions and you have the misguided concept that that is going to heal your trauma it, it's not because it re-traumatizes you and you need to stay fully connected with all aspects of your brain interconnected and on board so that you can manage your activations to stay present to be able to then um, feel happy and comfortable, grounded and be able to help other people. So window of tolerance, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, when you finish this work, what's as we transform the energies of trauma we then have available an immense amount of energy that we can then do something useful in the world while, rather than trying to be um, fire managing all the time trying to put out the fires now we've got all this energy free that we can do something in the world so how do you want to take that forward Vandita? Uh, so the first step is actually um, moving to somewhere yeah, that's really nourishing for me so that's my very first step in terms of um, self-regulation and um, yeah, looking after myself and from that place uh, what I'd like to do is really go back out and in, into perhaps the legal world definitely the mental health sector because yeah I've known the mental health sector for a very long time through experiences in my family and then recently working as a support worker and I just see all these people suffering from trauma but are just not being treated not even recognised as having trauma, so they're labelled with depression or bipolar or all these different um, labels that have come around and they're heavily medicated uh, and they're just not getting the help they really need. No, um, and medication only puts a sticking plaster on a situation as brain researcher Bessel van der Kolk has said who used to give medication has said okay that stops the symptoms but it doesn't heal the trauma and, and most mental health problems are a result of trauma. So that when you can actually use body-based approaches to heal trauma, then that's going to make a huge difference. Absolutely. Yeah. And before signing up for your course, Juliet, I, I ordered that book last year. I can't remember how I came about the it. The body keeps the score. The body keeps the score, and that was that was the real catalyst for then coming yeah. onto your course, Juliet. I read that book, and it was like reading my life story. Yes. It explains so much about myself, my family. The, the, the people I work with um, where, I'm, where I was working as a support worker yes. and I realised that yeah people all need to come on board now um, yes. with, with your work, with this work. So. Yeah, so we've had the, the great teachers Bessel van der Kolk, Dr Gabor Maté, Dr Peter Levine, Pat Ogden, um, amongst a whole group of other people who are now, who are our elders, they've laid the groundwork um, and with some help from some people before us but this is really cutting edge and we're on the point of this revolution that they, they're they now getting older and 
there are more people that have learnt from them that we have to build a, a sangha, if you like, a sangha of people that are going to take this world out because uh, this work out into the world, because we are at a very critical time on the planet. We're faced with some very very dire problems, and we really have to address the issues of trauma and heal it in a in a very real grounded way. And um, I'm also reaching my older age, so. I maybe have, uh, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years of work, I don't know, but it's my commitment is, is to hope that um, other people that I can help train and they can take the work out. So um, for that reason that I've got the advanced training and this one year training, um, which runs every year, one year training that runs every year. That's a bit of a nonsensical statement. <laughs> Okay, I'm human. <laughs> but yeah, it's a one year, but it's ongoing, isn't it? It's so ongoing. There's a chance yeah. next year, isn't there, to roll for the next one? Thank you, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of fun on the train, don't we? Oh, we do, yeah. Yeah, it's a very sort of keep it real, sort of chance to be really human um, <laughs> in, in, in all its forms, and uh, yeah. yeah, it's lovely. And, 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 and Juliet, the way you hold it, and Maya, and, and the whole group, um, yeah, it's, it's just lovely. Yeah, because yeah. it's really important, that's the, the first step, it's really important for us to build a, a very strong interconnected group that has total, total trust, and in that situation that's when we can start coming out of our dissociation and coming out of our rage and beginning to build the... Um, the relationships that perhaps we never had, the safety and relationships we may never have had any, at any time, even in the womb. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Is there anything else that you want to share, Vandita? To um, I just yeah really encourage uh, people yeah to, to take in you know what 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 Juliet's sharing, and just my my personal experience. Uh, and for any activists out there, uh, I consider myself to be an activist. Um, I've been sort of. Well, I have been actively involved in in, in um, yeah, sort of human rights work from the age of fourteen, really. Just this real call uh, to to help others, you know, especially vulnerable people. And yeah, and I, and I continue throughout my teenage years and through my twenties, you know. And I I did some quite radical things. I was very motivated, partly because I was young, but also from this sense of injustice and rage I had inside. Um, which was actually trauma, that's what I realised, and realising the connection between activation of the nervous system and the activism, and that point that we described earlier when, yeah, when I realised actually in my legal career I could keep saving people, I needed to start with myself, and the more I go into this work, I'm still getting, as I feel better in myself, I, I feel pulled to go out and, and save the world, it's still there in me because I care so much, you know, I, I love humanity and I love the planet, and I've been recently involved in, in some um, environmental action recently and my, my nervous system was activated again. And realising the best thing I can do for myself and the planet is to work on myself, to heal myself, to heal my nervous system and, and do this work. And I truly believe this is where and how we're gonna, gonna make a difference on the planet. I, I really genuinely believe yeah. that. So yeah, so I just thank you, Juliet, for, for your vision well, and for sharing it and you know inspiring others, including myself, to. Yeah, to follow this and, and take it on board. And for my own healing as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. So um, there are many, many millions of us now looking for a way to make a difference. So I, I really welcome you if you want to come. I put the information underneath the video. Um, come along, ask us questions about trauma healing and how you can make a difference in, in the area of work that you're in. So, Vantita, I'm going to ask you if you can. Turn the camera off. Okay. <laughs> and uh, goodbye for now. Thank you so much for uh, being with us. Bye.